Hi guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Dumebilia. So today's video is a hair tutorial video. I'm going to be showing you guys how to achieve crochet braids. And well, this hair like I actually just wanted to do my hair and I decided to just film it for you guys because it's crochet braid that I know I haven't done such on my channel before and I know there are some people who want to know how to get crochet braids done. So I had my girl Sissy Desha come over, Sissy Desha of Enchantia looks, uh, come over and do my hair and she's been doing my hair for years actually guys, like she's really good. She's even one of the people that encouraged me to go natural, like I love her seriously. So well, enough talking, let's get right into the video. I'm going to be showing you guys how to do crochet braids, keep watching. So the weave I'm going to be using today is a Noble Afro braid by the Noble Gold brand and uh, it's just it's a weave on that mimics the 4C hair that we have it's kinky hair. So just in case you're not in Nigeria or in other parts of Africa where you can get this particular brand of hair you can use the Marley braid because it's basically the same thing. So here Sissy Desha is going to be showing you guys how to prepare the, no, the weave for installation. She's just going to be taking one strand and then separating it into two and in the process she's going to be fluffing it out. So you have to be careful when doing this so that you don't create um, knots and tangles. But if you get knots in the process you could just use your your scissors to just snip it off. So the entire process of making my hair took about an hour and I used um, one and a half pack of hair of the weave I already showed you guys. Seriously, crochet braids are fast. One hour for a head full of hair. Wow. So that's the strand that is already ready for installation. Then to begin, she's going to be braiding my hair in cornrows. The first cornrow she's making is going to be um, round the perimeters of my head like a circular uh, headband. So now to talk about the benefits of crochet hair, crochet braids. In addition to them being really fast, they don't take as much time. Crochet braids also afford you a variety of ways to style your hair. Like today you could have a center part, tomorrow a side part, next tomorrow you could have your hair uh, up in a bun, you know, especially this kind of hairstyle that I'm making in particular. Then crochet braids are also less painful because your hair is not as manipulated as it would be if you were doing other styles, let's say box braids or twist or whatever. Now when braiding, if your hair is not as thick, you could use some weave on or attachments to give it some body while braiding. So you, you can weave yours with an attachment, but she didn't do that because she felt that my hair was thick enough. And also when um, braiding your cornrows for your crochet braids, you should try as much as possible not to make it too tight. Because if it's too tight, the crochet pin might not be able to pass through those cornrows easily and it might be painful. So you try to make it um, not to be too tight, but still firm enough to, to last. Oh, those edges. So now for the hair that's left in the middle, she's just going to be braiding it from top to bottom, which is like the back of my neck. So just straight down. Now when she's braiding, if you observe, she's going to be taking the end of the previous cornrow that she did and tucking them into the one she's currently braiding. So that's the way of securing all the, the ends of your cornrows. You just take the previous one and tuck it into the current one you're doing. And then when it gets to the last cornrow, she just uh, used a needle and thread and sewed that into the body of the cornrows. I hope you guys understand. I'm sorry I didn't show you guys that part of the video. And now it's time for installation of the crochet braids. So you can see how she's doing it. It's really easy guys. Don't worry, you guys are going to see more of it. So she's going to be taking the crochet pin and passing it into the cornrow. And then she will create a loop with the, with the crochet braid and and take it into the cornrow using the crochet pin and then pass the longer part of the hair through the loop thereby securing it. It's really really easy. Now 
And now you can see that the first, um, the corner that I have just going around the peri perimeters of my head like a headband is going to allow me to be able to pack my hair up in a bun because the, the hair is going to be covered. I don't know if you guys can understand, but well, that was the purpose of creating that round braid. So it's basically the same process, really. This is all there is to, to crochet braids, guys. It's the same thing. Now, this my hair. I wanted it really full because I like big hair. But for someone who doesn't want the hair to be as full as mine, you can leave a little bit more spaces in between your crochet braids. But not this round, in between the crochet braids that goes in the middle of the hair, which is where the straight cornrows are. You can space out your crochet braids so that it won't be as full. But I think um, if it, it's not at full, as full in the middle, you might not be able to do some parts and all that because it might be showing that it's not full. Well, that's what I think though. Now this is going to be one really big messy afro. I love big hair and when you talk about big hair, big hair, the origin of big hair can be dated back to like the 70s when you know big afros was the ish and celebrities like Erica Badu, Solange and Diana Ross really made it popular and over here in Nigeria we have our very own Omawumi always rocking big hair like there's this sass about big hair you know especially when it's kinky oh my god like seriously it's it's so beautiful I couldn't resist it this time around <laughs> so now we're almost done and it's just time to put finishing touches to the hair so now that we're done installing she's just going to be trimming out the uneven ends the rough ends the knots you know she's just going to be trimming it and shaping the hair into a nice big afro she's fluffing it out and we're basically done so thank you so much for watching guys i hope you enjoyed this tutorial um please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't and please comment i love to read from you guys thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys in my next video bye